When when was the first time you met Dale Earnhardt? The first time I met your dad. Mm. I'm going to say Metrolina. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's the first time I'd seen you. You were there with your sister and had a couple of shit boxes. Yeah. And you guys were struggling. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted to walk over. I, I'm going to tell you the story. And I really wanted to walk over and try to help you all because I was going pretty good there. Yeah. Your dad was there. And I said, you don't need my help. He, he's got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it took you all a while, but you got it. You know, yeah. I mean? it's like Davy Allison. I kind of tutored him. Donnie gave up on him. He called. I was standing right there, and he called Bobby. He said, "I'm done. I can't. I can't deal with this kid. No more. I'm done." Well, the kid's there by himself. Yeah. So I put him under my wing and, and and helped him a lot and got him going. And I felt like you were the same way, you know, from your dad. And your dad was busy. And if I was there, why could I help you? You know. Yep. So y'all raced one of the. One of the races that uh, I first ever saw you drive was the 1981 Charlotte 300 uh, Lake Mall Sportsman race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's the one where Dad called you the dirty driving SMB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, amazing race. And a little bit of me was a, had become a fan of you that day. Mm. Um, even though you, lean, you and Dad beat and bang to the finish, um, I don't know. There was just something. I love the car. It's a beautiful race car. And I thought your style was very similar to Dad's. You were aggressive, and uh, I like that type of race car driver. Um, and you learned of Dad's comments right after that race from Donnie Allison in Victory Lane. Donnie Allison come over and reached in the car and went, "At my mouth, yeah, let go, let go." You know, he said, "Whatever you do, keep your mouth shut." <laughs> he said, "That is the crown prince that you just got into and wrecked." Yeah, that is the crown. Prince. I said, no, I know, you know. But it was one of them deals that Dale was real good about getting on your right rear. And he's real good about getting on that right rear and that arrow yeah. and that void off that windshield and that nose. It, it's still there. It hadn't changed. Right. And he was just on the right rear, and I moved up, and he got me in the right rear on the other side, start finish line at Charlotte. Well, the other side goes that way, comes back. You're going to wreck, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I, but I got lucky. I let go and grabbed him, let go and grabbed him. Mark Martin said he seen all the smoke. He thought somebody blowed up. Just, <laughs> then he looked and he said, "Blue's still going straight." Mm. Well, then he drove up alongside of me. I said to myself, "We're going to go way off in three here now." Cause <laughs> I, I had to really pedal hard to be alongside of him getting in. You yeah. Know? And he got up here and he got in loose stuff. He was in Robert G's car. Yep. Robert comes down and said, "Blue, what the hell's wrong with you?" I said, "Well, I said we just got racing hard. Got racing too hard." <laughs> w were you guys beating and banging? Before the last lap, yeah. or was this all on the yeah, last well, lap? Yeah, well, I was kind of like the new kid on the block. And him and Jody were both good. Jody yeah. Ridley? Jody Ridley, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Mark was right there, but Mark was behind us a little bit. And I think I had a better hot rod than both of them. Mm. I was going to win. I mean, I, I got a hot rod here to win. Yeah. And they uh, they teamed up on me. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know? And, <laughs> that was a tough one. Was that the first time you had raced against Dale Earnhardt, or no. had you ra you'd no, raced? No, we run a couple of running. Yeah, we, no, we'd race a bunch before that. that. Okay, but I remember. You got to remember that, that, that El Senior was my hero. I mean, I took his his ground all the time. I said, he's, he's one of the best racers in the world, man. So I, was. Re I remember. Um, I don't remember what year this was. I was somewhere between four to six years old, wow. and went to Metrolina Motor Speedway, and it was dirt. And I remember Dad was there. He was in Cup at this time, so this was somewhere in the early 80s. Uh, but you were running and do just destroyed everybody. Barry, Barry Wright's car. Really? Yeah, Buddy Griffin owned it. Was that a white car? White car with 12 on it. It was. So, so I remember, like, s s images of that day. Dad was driving somebody else's car. Might have been, might have been Robert G's car. I'm not sure. But run second to you by about a straightaway back. Everyone else was not even in the same lap, <laughs> but uh, and I remember that was right around that same time frame as the uh, Charlotte 300. And so I'd seen you run Charlotte, and now you're at the dirt track dominating. Um, that was my first recollection of you and and racing dad. So I don't I don't know how many times y'all I mean, y'all used to race against each other in the Cup Series quite a bit. Um, it was written that it was written and said by many people. Uh, even as recently as the '90s, that you were the Dale Earnhardt of the short tracks. Mm. Is that a? Is that a? That's a compliment. That's a compliment. So, um, and you and you talk about how you appreciate, you know, Dad as a driver, and um, 
Although he flipped him off once. You did flip, yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> hold on a second. We got to hear about that. Yeah. I don't remember that. Talladega 1981, Talladega 500, oh. Jody Reel, the, yeah. <laughs> now Jody, he remembers. Jody came from the back. Yeah. I didn't make the race for Buck Bowl Spring qualifying. And we started on a provisional rocket ship. Rocket ship. Come from the back. And the first time that I had really come from the back and passed him, but I was going to the front and he's going like, Get in I'm going to buy you. Yeah. Get in line. He no. wanted you to get in line with him. And exactly. You, just, and where are you going this early? Every, why, did, why didn't you just pass him and I just did. move? I, I know. Did. You did, but you had to hang a bird out the window yeah, at yeah, the same yeah, time. He wanted me to get in line behind him. No, I'm going to get in line behind you. I'm going to buy you. Yeah, <laughs> this is my so big kid to pass you. <laughs> I'm the, I never read a story about anybody flipping off Dale Earnhardt. I'm sure it happened, but yeah. I never knew anybody well, did it. You know did what it. he did right back, don't you? Did he do it? Oh, he did. Of course he did. He gave me the same motion. at We were at Michigan. We were at Michigan yeah. in that race where we run side by side of the finish line. Oh, the I Rock, I Rock race? race? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The whole freaking race, every single lap, he's giving me that line. Oh, uh, yeah. Get in line. Stay in line. line. Stay doing? in line. Don't pass me. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. I'm like, I'm in a hornet's nest back here. Yeah. They're all over my quarter panels, and he's out front, and I'm protecting him. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not liking this. You get, it'd be better if you were behind me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys and yeah. your Earnhardt yeah. stories. Did you ever have any good Earnhardt stories? Every time I mean, he rates was a good earner. No, I know that. I know. <laughs> but did you, me? I mean, did you guys ever have any good uh, get along? Good? Did no, you? Ever, we got along great. We got along good. Oh yeah. Oh, we always talked and hung out and you know yeah. One of the funniest things, Dale and I literally laugh at this when we were talking about it. But when when and I'm jumping ahead, but this is an Earnhardt story and one of my favorites is in the book is when you were coming back into the garage uh, after your first stint. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, away and and and. Dale Earnhardt looks at you, he's like, are you back? Oh, and then when you said you were back. He went, look here. I walked out. I said, what's up, bud? And he put his hand and said, good to see you back. He said, are you going to come back and race with us? Uh, I said, maybe. I, said, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. That deal at Charlotte probably cost me a golden opportunity to drive for your dad. Really? Oh. I would have loved to have driven for your dad. Why do you, you ever remember coming to New Smyrna and getting on top of the truck? No. Watch me race. Yeah, he used to watch the races from up on your hauler. Yeah. He, he called me. He, I be wandering around in the pits and he said, "Look, come here." And I'd go, "What? What's up? You racing?" And I said, "Yeah, we won a couple of times already." He said, "I'm gonna come over tonight." I said, "Well, come on, come to the gate." And when you get to the gate, have him call me and we'll come with a golf cart and get you, put you on trucks, and nobody knows you're even there. Oh. Yeah, I don't have to tell you how that deal goes. <laughs> he get on the truck and he he watched me race, and that was to me. Like to have him watch me race? Are you something. kidding me? That's something. Yeah, Pretty that's awesome. nice. But he he enjoyed watching me. I guess because I was out of control most of the time. I don't. <laughs> I know. don't think. I think. I think he felt the same way I felt. He liked your style. It was so similar to his. Y'all were you were real aggressive. close. Yeah, you were aggressive. People call you the, the Dale Earnhardt short tracks. A lot of people, uh, you know, compare you to Tim Richmond. I think you're kind of a mer a blend of both. Um, y'all all y'all all sort of had that same sort of. Well, Tim and I were real good friends. Yeah. Tim drove for me and stuff, and Tim was a cool guy. He, yeah. He was one hell of a race driver. Mm -hmm.